Hello, my name is Michelle. I am a 49 year old part time teacher who is trying to use velocity banking to help me get out of debt and kind of preserve my credit. My credit is garbage based on some business decisions, but I'm trying to use this method to kind of be able to meet the minimum payments and then pay extra. So here's July. I know it's a little late to talk about the new deck in July, but for all my little internet buddies, my internet friends, you know, there's always something to happen. So I'm going to start off with uh, the two accounts that I'm doing Velocity Banking with. So I'm doing it with Old Navy and I'm doing it with American Express. My goal is to have Old Navy paid off by the end of August and I, I'm getting closer so I may be able to reach that goal. And so what I do, if you see me looking down, it's because I have my whole notebook. So right now, Old Navy's minimum payment is $104.98. And then I pay three bills on Old Navy. I do T-Mobile, which is $66.35, Spectrum, which is $56.99, and then HBO Max, which is $15.99. And those three total $139.33. So the minimum payment is met, so that's good. Then for American Express, I actually didn't have a minimum payment this month because I had made an extra payment. I'm getting so confused. But I'm still, I pay my car insurance through there. So that's $242.69. So that will meet the minimum payment. So as far as uh, the bill matching side of Velocity Banking, it's going well. Um, unfortunately, this month I was not... <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing, my notebook? Oh, thank you. He has to be the boy, honey. Well, he likes to be in videos. Well, he can be in a video too. You know, he has to. He has to get down, my love. Yes, yes, you do. So, what I have found is that the bill matching is definitely helping. Um, the only thing is because I'm like so like close to the limits because you know every time I make a big payment they drop it down um, I'm finding that I'm almost gonna have to make a payment to cover the interest or else I'm not gonna have enough room on there to kind of like put the bills that I need to put on there um, but this month I wasn't able to do an extra um, payment for Old Navy but that's okay it's still around like 2600 so I'm getting closer so um, but I had another like financial, I guess, misstep you would call it. So, um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I was a full-time teacher for like 20 years. Then three years ago, I, um, after the pandemic, I switched to part-time and I absolutely love it. But I had to find other ways to supplement my income. And so to do that, I have, um, a teacher pay teacher store, which I had already had, but I wasn't really doing much with it. So I was, I kind of. I guess revitalize that and I'm still working on that kind of narrowing down my niche but for the most part it's um, like high school ELA materials and like movie guides and stuff and then I've also had real estate for like close to 18 years I've had one house it was my grandmother's but now I've gotten more serious about that and I've created like an LLC and the whole nine so with that I was participating in an auction earlier this month um, and I was so excited. I actually won. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm so happy. I won, um, one house and two like, vacant lots. Bless you. And it came to like, oh, about 30,000. So I was like, okay, perfect. I'm good to go. Cause, um, I had sold my primary residence cause I knew I wanted to build my, um, real estate portfolio. So I took that money so that I could buy more houses uh, to rent out. So anyway, when I won the auction, my bank at the time, keyboard at the time, was um, Capital One. So, like, all my money was in Capital One. Because, you know, Capital One lets you have 50 bajillion savings accounts and stuff. So, when I went to move, you only, I only needed to put down 10% immediately. And then you have to pay the balance within a week. So, when I went to move that $3,000, just because I guess I'm so used to working with hundreds instead of thousands, um, my account got flagged. Um, and how about Capital One, like, shut my account down for, uh, to check for fraud and unusual activity. So it was an absolute mess, y'all. When I say I was so upset, 
Um, they shut my accounts down. I called people for two, three, four days trying to get this worked out. Um, unfortunately, though, when it comes to the auction, you have to have that money within 24 hours. So guess what? I lost the house and I lost the land. Um, and I was, I did submit a complaint with the um, FDIC and I didn't know if maybe I should do more because um, they really messed me up because now I don't have those properties that would have been generating income. But needless to say, that, of course, I was extremely stressful because all my money was tied up in Capital One. So it was a good life lesson, which is never, ever, ever again will I have all my money in an online account. Um, now I will have to be old school like the old people and really do brick and mortar because that was just unreal and it took a week to resolve it so thank god i had already paid my bills before the auction or else i mean i really would have been screwed because they really they froze every last one of my accounts so i couldn't take any money out i couldn't lose it couldn't sell nothing so needless to say that's been worked out yes i had pulled all my money out of capital one and um I'm tempted to kind of switch my strategy um, just because I was so disgusted at their horrible customer service and how they handled the situation um, because I tried to tell them it wasn't fraud. I explained to them what I was trying to do with the money. I even asked them, you know, can y'all just free up 5000 while y'all do this investigation so that I can still put the deposit down. They wouldn't do any of that. So needless to say, those accounts are closed, but I do have a credit card with them. It has about probably about 2500 on it, 23500 And um, I'm tempted to switch my focus and just pay them off and then go back to Old Navy because I was just so disgusted with them. But anyway, that kind of messed me up a little bit. Um, so needless to say, super stressed, definitely not tracking. Buddy, buddy, sir, sit down. No, you have to be down. Um, I was not tracking my spending um, this month like I should have been at all and was all over the place so hopefully for august i will be able to be um, back on track uh so for august the goal of course is to pay at least 500 on old navy which i should be able to do because if you watch my other video you see i went to summer school and so i should be getting that money in my next paycheck so i should potentially i might even be able depending on how much it is i might be able to make a thousand dollar payment instead of a 500 dollars um, and then my discretionary spending, I am trying to get it to about $700. That's like my goal. If I could get my discretionary spending to $700 a month, I would be so happy. Uh, right now, it's hovering at $1,000, sometimes $1,100, uh, depending on how stressed I am. I am learning a lot about myself. I'm seeing that I do uh, eat out or get order takeaway way more when I'm stressed. Um, I have started kind of incorporating exercise more into my routine though so hopefully that'll help me relax a little bit more I've been going to um, like the sauna three days a week because I like to pick up the medicinal properties but anyway back to the budget um, so velocity banking I am liking it I do think it's it's helping me streamline and I also think it's helping me build better uh, credit card management habits I'm just making up terms but it just sounds good um, and what I mean by that is, you know how people who use credit cards responsibly, they always pay them off at the end of the month. So if I can keep this up, by the time I pay off these cards, I'll just be in a habit of just putting certain expenses on those cards and then just paying them off right then and there. So eventually I would like to get there with my discretionary spending, but of course I'm not there yet. So as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. I hope you're learning some stuff. If you have some tips, by all means, please let me know. And um, until later, be grateful. Bye-bye.